Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new and this week I'm tackling the Thanksgiving feast. Of course, some of these yummy recipes can be altered to meet your level of keto, meaning that you can remove the onion, garlic, or jalapenos, etc. to make it even more low carb. You can even switch out the cheeses. Everything is low carb, but no, I'm not compromising on the taste. So everything is delicious and fits a keto lifestyle. If you're keto on holidays, I got you. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so you're notified of when these videos are going up. Now let's get cooking. I decided to make a small chicken because I couldn't find turkey in my local markets and I wanted something small and something accessible to everybody so an organic chicken it is. This is the organic young chicken from Trader Joe's and it's $2.99 a pound which is a great price. I'm going to fill my pot and add the chicken in with three stalks of celery and a quarter onion. Also one bay leaf. Since I'll be using the broth after for a lot of recipes, I'm not going to use any seasonings. The veggies, chicken, and bay leaf are all the flavors I need, so I'm going to boil this chicken for about 25 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to mix together some ghee, sage, rosemary, and thyme with some of these seasonings to create the seasoning we're going to add right when it comes out. I'm going to rub the chicken when it comes out with all of these seasonings and herbs and this is going to be the added flavor to the chicken. I'm also going to add a few stalks of celery, a few pieces of rosemary, thyme and sage and a quarter onion inside of the chicken so it can add flavor from the inside as well. If you don't want the tips of the wings or the drums to burn, make sure you cover that with foil but I don't mind that. I'm going to cover it with foil, but I'm going to leave the sides open so that it can vent and cook all the way through. Once it cooks for about 25 minutes, I'm going to remove the foil and let it brown on 475 just so that the skin can get crispy. And here's how it looks after about 5 to 10 minutes on that 475 and the skin is crispy and delicious. It has all that beautiful seasoning and fresh herbs all over it. It came out so juicy and so delicious. Of course, remove what's inside of the chicken before you serve. I hope you try out this recipe and there's more coming. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified of when these videos are going up, and thank you so much for watching.